Okay, let's see if this works. We got a package in the mail from Mr. Mailman from the US. And uh, yeah, it's for this guy. So, I don't know, I talked to, I can't remember the name, I'm sorry. Um, one of the other great woodworkers, actually. Um, this is basically how I've got my ground set up. So I just run a wire from this mount, which it's clamped onto this guy, uh, back. And I've got it clamped basically just into the, the bracket here. Because the board is grounded to, grounded to that bar. So I run this and that kind of helps a lot of the, uh, the USB disconnections when you disc or when you turn off the router. But anyway, we got some toys from Carbide 3D. And I'm a little concerned here. I hate these packages. I don't want to break anything that's in there just in case, or otherwise I'll just tear it open. But um, Come on. Where's a knife? Give me some scissors. There's some scissors. There's going to probably, oh, oh, looks like, cut off the top of the bag. Alright, so, looks like my worry was right, and they still haven't responded. Has anybody else had, like, really ugly communication with Carbide 3D? Uh, that's been my impression so far. Getting this machine was uh, not a breeze. Um communication trying to get the machine and trying to get it paid for on a card that has a limit of 500 bucks just because I I got a pay-as-you-go card that I tend to use for that kind of stuff and I just load it up when I want to have cash on the card I mean you can't get really dinged too bad that way if I mean credit card wise there's nothing on the card there's nothing really to steal so um, this is a limit switch kit and this plugs into the back and then there's a bunch of switches set up so that as this goes up and down and meets the the sides it will stop and uh, I think emergency stop is enabled with the limit switches on this machine but uh, it will also allow me to automatically zero the machine every time um, it will be able to know where it is it will be able to go to one side go to the other side and based on the dimensions of the machine know where it's at that should help me re-zero so i'm going to have to look up some instructions on how to get this set up but uh what i was a little disappointed in is i ordered two uh, quarter inch end mills at the same time and they were not shipped they were in stock like where's my where's my end mills if I can understand if they weren't in stock at the time, but they were listed in stock on the site, and I haven't had any response back from Carbide 3D about where that order is. That order hasn't shipped, so yeah, it was all in one order. Um, it's just when it shipped, it said just the limit switches had shipped, and nothing about the uh, the end mills. So. Essentially, I'm out for two end mills, and I have no information about it right now. But, uh, I'll keep waiting. It's a busy time right now, so, I don't know. I'll have to live with it. But it would have been really nice to have some bigger end mills. And, yeah, I'm going to have to get this set up. So, some of this will go up here, and then I think some of them, I think some of them go in here or something that's... I'm not sure, or maybe it's down here on the wheel. I'm not sure how they're attached, but basically um, you'll have stops here and a stop up here. And yeah, just switches to tell the machine when it's hit its limits. I'll have more when I know how to install it. <laughs>